I'm Tom Merritt from Daily Tech News Show. Here are five things to do when your password manager experiences a data breach. Uh, you heard about LastPass announcing a data breach in December 2022. Man, did that put a lot of people off. Not just of LastPass, but password managers in general. But it shouldn't. Password managers are still a great way to organize and secure your passwords, better than a lot of your other options. But what happens when your password manager service experiences a data breach? What are you going to do? Here are the top five things to do when your password manager gets breached. Number five, change the master password on that password manager, even if you're going to switch. When a data breach occurs, the first thing you should consider changing are your passwords, of course. But the first one you're going to need to change in this case is that password manager master password. Coming in at number four, enable multi-factor authentication. Maybe you've done this already. I hope you have. But if you haven't already, enable MFA, as they call it, on your account and any other affected accounts that offer it. Even two-factor authentication that sends a code by text message is better than nothing. However, if you do have the option of using an authenticator app like Authy or Google or Microsoft, or maybe a hardware authentication device like YubiKey, you want to use that for an extra layer of security. Up to number three, monitor your accounts. Any of those affected online accounts, be looking at those for suspicious activity, signs of unauthorized access, and report it to the respective service providers immediately. Also, check your password manager account for any unauthorized access or activity and report that to customer support if you find it too. Sliding in at number two, be on the lookout for phishing attempts. That's with a PH, not an F. Criminals may use the data they got from this breach to launch what are called phishing attempts when they try to trick you with information they do have into giving you information they don't have. So be cautious of any emails or messages asking for your password manager credentials or saying, oh, we, we, we know this about you, give us more. And you might even consider switching affected accounts and your password manager to a new and unique email address. No, that's gonna that's not gonna work for everybody, but something to consider. At number one, <laughs> this one you've already thought of, I'm pretty sure. Switch to a different password manager. I mean, if you are uncomfortable with your preferred password manager's security measures, or I don't know, maybe you've recently lost trust in the company after a data breach, you'll want to look at other password managers that meet your security needs. Don't not use one. Don't start replicating your passwords. Don't try to remember them. If you're not happy with, uh, I don't know, LastPass, consider options like 1Password, Bitwarden, Dashlane, or KeePass. There's lots of good ones out there. Hopefully, you're not going to need to do any of this. And someday Fido and passkeys might just make such managers obsolete. But until then, and just in case you need them, these tips are good to have around. If you want more great tech news and info, subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash daily tech news show, and make sure to get the podcast at dailytechnewsshow.com. I'll see you there.